we're going to appeal. We're going to use every resource that we can come up with to take these people to court and hold them legally responsible for killing people, stealing homes, bankrupted people, sending people to the hospital, post-traumatic stress, Stockholm Syndrome, on and on and on. There's a height restriction there, there's a death restriction there. You can't build there. That's why it's zoned for us. It was built on a dump, you can't go down and you can't go up because we're right by the airport. It's a permanent zoning. I don't know when they snuck around and snuck behind our backs and changed the zoning, but they weren't supposed to do that. There was an ag agreement. Well, this is a sad end to a, in, uh, a hard fight, um, and uh, it's, it's certainly disappointing. Um, this is one of those things where, uh, you know, at least we've been able to put our case before an impartial decision maker. and. The judge had a difficult job, and I know that she's uh, doing her best to be fair. So uh, you have to believe in the justice system even when you don't really like the result. We're pleased with the decision. Um, it was a difficult situation for everybody, but uh, if we, we intend to support the residents as we can as we move forward. The law is as Justice Kenny applied it, and uh, um, as I said, we'll, we'll support them as best we can um, by making the closure program available to them. Uh, the tenants who still reside there and uh, go forward as best we, Just we can. Kidding. Basically we have to abandon our house and take on our $60,000 mortgage and go try to, well I guess we're just going to be homeless because we won't be able to rent anywhere because we have to pay our mortgage. Mm -hmm. Basically what was ruled is the law is just not on our side. Basically, During the election debates, Nancy said that no one would become homeless from the situation. We will become homeless. Yep. We are becoming homeless in February. Yeah, they, st they are homeless, they still are. Not only homeless, but 23 people have died, seven have committed suicide. Uh, basically the city killed people put people out on the street, seniors, young families. We are no longer Calgarians. Calgary doesn't want us. If you don't make a lot of money here in the city, get out now.